Starting out the video, a little bit of E85 in the tank. We are all going to the drag strip today. Just met up with the boys. We're down here in Norfolk. I'm about to head to Virginia Motorsports Park, quarter mile. I'm excited as shit. Got some E85 in the tank. Um, really, I just want to try and cut a 1.6 something 60 foot. Just see how this rear end um, helped launch and all that. Really, I don't know what time it's going to run. I'm probably like a 12.6 maybe, 12.5. I don't know. The lower the better, obviously. I'm really excited to see Sean. He's got his XL uh, E85 A3 here. There's uh, this car beside me. This red car is also an XL car E85. So really excited to see if either one of those guys can get into the tens. And we have another Golf R, a couple GTIs. Should be a really good day. And I think we're meeting up with more people along the way. So it should be a nice cruise up to the track and uh, lay it down. All right, boys, we are here. First time ever being a VMP. There's a huge parking lot out here. I think there's like a, a racetrack here too, cause, oh, there's another Golf R here. Um, we're up here again Sunday for autocross. So I don't know where that is, but it's somewhere. I don't know where all the people I came with, oh, they're all up here. Sorry, I'm not facing the camera at the right spot. There's a stinger there. All types of things. Hopefully I get a good pass in. Hopefully the homies run some tens. We'll see how this goes. What up? Oh, the tech's usually back there, but I'm not sure where it's at. They said 101 or something. I don't know where that is. 101. Hmm. And tech's at building 101, wherever that is. Alright, well, let's find it. We got the boys all lined up here. Ready to get into tech. Say hi. <laughs> you dynoed yours yet? Huh? Have you dynoed yours yet? Nope. Nope. 34 psi. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully a 10. What's your quickest so far? Uh, I have not run it on this setup yet. Oh, okay. I've done just 60 to 130. So I've done a 7.5. 60 to 130 is my best. All right. It pretty consistently does that. You got some nice meats on there. Uh, sounds like shit though. Don't listen to it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All of them are. Check the tank. 10 second, first first pass, 10 Gee seconds. Boy. I believe in you. <laughs> Look at the meats on that thing. Sheesh. What's going on here? Some shenanigans. You gotta get that E, baby. <laughs> Dang, all the weight loss. I like it. Got a bam. This guy's all out too. Oh, you guys can't see. Tire pressure at all? There are so many dope cars. I haven't been to a drag strip this big or official, I don't think, ever. Uh, maybe Vladimir and Denver's maybe kind of comparable. There's a lot more space here, I think, to like be around. Staging lanes is over there. Just check that Porsche. That'll be dope to see run. There's all types of things. There's like a whole group of CTSVs over here somewhere. So there's a uh, SS on a drag pack over there. All types of things. A lot of trucks. Not too many imports, really. And that's not surprising. There's a BMW. Ooh, a Cobra. Nice. That thing's pretty. Dig that. Where's that Porsche? Ooh, yeah. Let me get that. We got our little crew of two-liter MQB cars. This thing's nice. I don't know whose this is. Love the Pretz. Put that HPA downpipe. Saw. Oh, oh, you're good. <laughs> it's not professional by any means. I just get on here and talk shit. This guy right here. Better be a 10 second first pass. Let's go. So how cool is that? Just met a subscriber. He came up here because I said I was coming here and he brought some friends with him. So we just sat and chatted.
for a while. That was his blue Golf R with the HPA downpipe, and he has the, their IS38 Plus, and he's about to get teched in. We might be able to help him. He's not, I don't think he's ever did drag strip stuff before, so we might be able to give him some pointers. And we are getting in line right now with the boys. Get our first pass in. I'll probably only, only do a couple passes. It's only 20 bucks to get it, get in and race, too, so that was pretty nice. But uh, I just really hope I can get my 60 foot down to the mid one sixes and I'll be ecstatic. You got this golf bar here. You guys know Michael Holt. He used to be real popular on the Facebook pages. This is his old car apparently. Huh, you wombo. That's funny. When the 911 rolls up, what up girl? I love that. So this car with the weds on it, United Motorsport, Haldex, ECU, TCU, and it has a Zona Rotor 50, 59, 70, I think it's that, or 50, 50 something something. So this thing could be pretty freaking beastly. Talk to the guy in the Porsche. That thing makes, I think he said 700 wheel. That'll be nice to see. All right, boys, we're getting close. Really excited. Let's see what the boys run. This car right here is a Zona Rota United Motorsports car. Really neat. I hope it gets a good pass. Those turbos are badass. I mean, you guys know United Motorsports got things on lock, so it's gonna be really interesting if he can. He said he's been having launch trouble, so hopefully he can get a good launch RPM, not bog it or not spin, and you should probably see a, a good, like probably lowish 10 second pass on this thing. Testing, testing. All right, guys. So Justin's up on the tree right now. Sean's behind him. I'll be uh, up against the Porsche. Hell yeah. Should be real interesting. Oh man, I can't see anything on the screen. Sorry, this is gonna be terrible till the sun goes down. You see, Justin ran 11:47 at 1:18. Not bad at all. Wow. I'm pretty sure that's stock turbo. That's good. There Sean goes. Why well, won't it focus? Oh my god. He is moving though. It's like focus on my windshield. Damn it. Sorry guys, if this is his 10 second pass. 1127 at 125. It's so hard to see with the sun, guys. I'm sorry. Hopefully the videos get better later. We got the Zona Rota car up there. Let's see what he does. Water pit. Oh, gotta back up, bro. Kind of bogged. Wonder what it'll run still. Eleven. All right, up against the Porsche here. This will be funny. Whew. It is so freaking bright. guys first pass not bad at all so the last eighth mile we did when we were in um north carolina we did eight or eight one seven at 84 so we dropped that down a thousandth and got up what uh like two mile an hour so that's good this is our first real strip or first real quarter mile go so 12 6 4 109 you can see my 60 foot is not great I didn't get on launch control as long as I had liked to because I was trying to kind of cut a light, but not really. Um, yeah, so on this time, I'm not even, I'm just going to ignore the lights and just get on launch control for a long time or long enough and then see what she does. I think I can get that 60 foot way, way down, which should equate to a little bit lower of a number. You can see a 12.5 would be dope with like a one, 
low 17 or a high 16 60 foot so beautiful in yellow god damn so this Sheesh. going up here for my second pass Sean's about to stage I think we're going up against this here SS should be interesting I'm not going to go in the green light because I want to build all the boosts for launch but we'll see if we'll catch back up it's an auto car I know that much I don't know anything else about it I don't know what's going on with that truck you're on a lot of stage it's beautiful out here I'll tell you what here we go here we go 10 second pass let's go it spun a little bit off the line Right, guys second run not a whole lot better just a tad on the time a little bit better on the 60 and stuff but still not a whole lot so we're gonna let the cars cool off grab a bite to eat and hop back in line let the da drop a little bit more i think currently it's like 640 something so um mind you we drove i mean the car's basically been on it took me an hour to get to the meat spot it was like an hour and a half drive here and then tech and all that. So it's like the car's basically been on for like three hours and then I just hot lapped it twice. So I think if we let her cool down quite a bit and go up for a run, she should uh, make a way better pass. see Sean run a 10 so he's gonna bring his car over real quick into the lane and we're just gonna push it down to the line they're doing uh, some type of bracket racing at the same time as test and tune I mean so like, it's like I mean it's packed over here and I just air down my tires a little bit more cars nice and cooled off now Had a nice burger but I'm hoping I can get that good 60 foot but really I want to see both of them run a 10. That would be legit. Get it on camera. Got down here just in time to see his pass. Get it all nice and up close. Pass right here. running low 11s as well beautiful car be able to get a 10 out of them tonight oh, that'd be the one for for sean really i don't know what happened with uh i think his name's nick the red car 
then you got the other guy in the blue golf with the Zona. Um, I think if he just got a little more boost or something off the line, he'd have it. He's 1107. That's right there. But I'm about to get back in my car, try and make at least one more pass. Track closed at 11. It is 1010. It's actually kind of cold. So let's get up here, get the oil warmed up. Burr. Make a pass. All right, guys, finally getting out for our third and final run of the night up against the XL EQT DSG E85 car. Ain't no way in how I'm going to win. But uh, I'll try and get a good launch, get a good 60 foot, get our best, hopefully, our best time so far. Well, boys, I didn't get what I was looking for. Oh, there we go. 1960. Uh, I think that might be my best eight. Let me see. 81. 81. 4 no yeah definitely not my best the car was nice and cool it just wasn't having it just wasn't i think it's my highest trap speed but oh well it is what it is but homie in the red car look at that 10 7 5 that's his first 10 and it was against me so that's actually pretty cool i wish i would have had a gopro on the outside to get it and this car freaking moved out he got the shit out of me <laughs> overall fun freaking day Hanging out with the boys, uh, getting to see a new track. Never been here before, and actually I'll be back up here on Sunday to be racing on this asphalt for autocross. But if I really wish, so I got up there, and that time I could actually I could hear the tires uh, losing traction on launch. Not cool. And I ordered RT 660s. They shipped out Thursday, yesterday. They should be here sometime next week. So next time, well not. Sunday's autocross, but the following autocrosses and drag strips and stuff, I'll have good tires on. Hopefully, we can get a good um, 60 foot in time. Because when we went to the eighth mile, they prepped, and that's where I cut that 17060. Here, it's just there's no prep at all, just water box that you can't avoid. You have to go through the water box, and then you know, there's like no prep. I even fall, I, there was a big tire car in front of me, and I went exactly where his tires were hoping there would be, I don't know, some rubber on the ground for me to get some grip, but no, you could hear it, right, and the, just the tires squeaking just a little bit up front, so, what can you do? Anyway, uh, I don't think I'm going to record anything else, I need to put some air in the tires and get on the road, it's almost 11 o'clock at night, I got an hour and a half drive home, and today was a lot of fun, hope you guys liked the video, and uh, get you on the flip flop. One last thing, we were just chatting about different things. Homie here that ran a 10, that was his only pass today that he manually was shifting and he took like almost half a second off his time. And I was thinking with this, you know, my boost probably starts falling off at like 58, 6,000 RPM. I don't know where this thing's shifting. I don't know if it's shifting like the soft red line at like 6,500 or taking it to 7,000. I should probably be shifting this thing at like 5,500-ish to stay in the power band so that's something i need to look into on the way home here i will do some watt pulls and see where it shifts and if it does shift way up high then i need to be manually shifting when i'm doing these kind of things to uh, stay better in that power band and cut some time out